Hi everybody, this is Kevin Kane, and this video is about Medicare, or how the Affordable Care Act impacts Medicare. Now, we have not been hearing as much about Medicare ever since the 2012 election last time. Uh, leading up to the election, we heard a lot about Medicare, and especially how the Affordable Care Act impacts it. But I'm going to dispel a lot of the myths associated with that, and talk a little bit about how the Affordable Care Act impacts it. So first and foremost, the Affordable Care Act actually protects Medicare benefits and strengthens the program for future generations in a variety of ways, contrary to all the attacks we may have heard. And first and foremost, this is done through cracking down on waste, fraud, and abuse in Medicare. Now, this may surprise some of you, but before the Affordable Care Act, there really was no entity whose job it was was to police and go after Medicare fraud on a very large level. There were uh, advocacy organizations and some state programs. But on a national level, there really wasn't an effort to address this on a, on a large scale. Now, technically, the FBI was supposed to, but they were actually never funded in any federal budget to do it. And so now, the Affordable Care Act has made the Task Force on Medicare uh, Fraud with the Health and Human Services Department and the FBI to go after this. And already, billions and billions of dollars in federal funds that were being wasted or uh, defrauded in some capacity are put back into the program. Now this is actually not individuals so much as large companies, especially medical device manufacturers, medical suppliers, who've been overcharging the federal government for a long time. But now we've been able to help keep the money in the program and keep the program solvent much longer. Another way that the Affordable Care Act protects Medicare benefits is through ending handouts to insurance companies. A number of insurance companies convinced the federal government a long time ago to help provide public subsidy to help manage the cost of insurance programs marketed at people of Medicare age to keep the cost lower for fixed income individuals. Makes sense on the surface, we're trying to aim for this population, but if you really think about it, we were actually doing a huge disservice because when we took these federal funds away, insurance plans sold more uh, plans to individuals such as Medicare Advantage, they sold more plans to more seniors cheaper. Now the reason for this is, if you give large public subsidies to, in, to private companies, what incentive do they have to be competitive? They don't have to worry about this as much. But when we took away a lot of these federal subsidies, we forced them to actually have to sell a better product and do a better job at marketing it. And so now we have a better product and we're saving money that normally was going to insurance company profits. Now, between these two sections, we are cutting parts of Medicare, but not for seniors. Not a dime of seniors' benefits is touched by the Affordable Care Act. None of that's changed. So all the attack ads that you may have heard about how the Affordable Care Act cuts anything in Medicare, this is how it was done, by reducing waste, fraud, and abuse, and by ending handouts to insurance companies. So the next time someone tells you that, this is, that the Affordable Care Act cuts Medicare, ask them how. And I guarantee you either they won't know the answer, or they don't want to answer that this is the reason, because these are very popular and important things to do for Medicare. Now there's another thing that the Affordable Care Act does for Medicare, and that is free preventive, co free preventive care costs to help reduce uh, disease spreading and reduce emergency room costs and really reduce health care costs long term. Keeping people healthy saves lives and it saves money long term because a cancer screening is a lot cheaper than chemotherapy, et cetera, and so forth. And so this is something that seniors on Medicare have had uh, advantage for a little, quite some time. Uh, a recent article had come out saying that about 74% of everybody on Medicare in 2012 had taken advantage of the program, the free preventive care for wellness exams and doctor visits, uh, from the Affordable Care Act. The last way that the Affordable Care Act impacts Medicare is the ending of the Medicare Part D prescription drug coverage gap, also known as the donut hole. Now, a lot of people are very familiar with it. What it is is it's a uh, hole in the uh, in the prescription drug program where if you spent more than a minimum amount but you didn't quite hit a catastrophic amount of, of costs, you had to pay all of it out of pocket. And it actually ended up reducing a lot of seniors' life savings in the process. And so now this donut hole is half closed and over the next few years will be closed completely. And, and seniors will no longer have to be wondering about whether or not we, you know, they pay for drugs or they pay for groceries we can finally address this inequity in the Medicare program. So the Affordable Care Act does great things for Medicare, and we should be very uh, happy that, that it does so. 
So thanks so much for watching this video. Please like and comment below and please be sure to share with others so that they know everything going on in healthcare. And be sure to sign up below so you can receive the latest videos. Thank you.